Hi, Caleb with Renos here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at the Forward Control Designs Billet Upper Receiver. So this upper receiver, I will say, is the upper receiver to which all upper receivers are measured against. And yes, I will definitely fight you on that one. So let's just go ahead and talk about Forward Control Designs as a company real quick here. If you're not familiar with them, uh, they are known for you know choosing quality materials. They're known for their quality machining, uh, holding tight tolerances. They're one of those companies where if you know something from a batch comes out just a little bit out of spec, they'll just throw everything away and start over. They're, they're, they're those guys. So that's why they're known to be one of the upper tier companies as far as AR parts and products go. So let's talk about this upper receiver. So 7075 T6 hardcode anodized aluminum. And jumping into it here, let's just start off at the top rail. Top rail, uh, you have laser engraved T marks on top. We'll move back here. You'll notice, first thing you'll notice whenever you just look at it visually, you have cuts at the back here. The reason they made these cuts is so that you can easily deploy your backup iron sights. And then looking at it going down from there, you'll notice that there's another cut on your forward assist housing. So the reason they did that is so that if you're using an ambidextrous charging handle, it's just easier to get to. Uh, nothing, no bulk material in your way. Uh, speaking of bulk material, the wall thickness overall on this upper receiver is a lot thicker than what you would standard you would run into on a standard upper receiver, uh, which is why you know if you're going for a lightweight build, uh, that's probably the only con of this upper receiver uh, is that it's not good for a lightweight build. It is a little bit heavier than what you would run into on a standard upper receiver, but it is a lot more rigid. So uh, that's probably the only downside I'm gonna say about this upper receiver. And it's only a downside if you're going for a lightweight build. So there you have it. All right, moving on from there. Uh, let's take a look at the front of this thing here. Like I said, there was an increased wall thickness, but they shaved it down so that it'll work with uh, pretty much any standard handguard. Uh, so those anti-rotation tabs will clear it. Speaking of anti-rotation, they did drill it for a pin. So if you're using a specialty handguard that indexes with a pin, uh, it'll index with this one just fine. And then moving on from there, they did an undercut on the shell deflector here. As you can see, just removed some excess material there. Uh, the version This is a version two of this upper receiver. Version one had a over gas vent port here, which they did away with because uh, it wasn't really needed in all, in all honesty. Uh, and the one that Brownells carries is a version two, so uh, just be aware of that. Now, flipping over to the other side, you get that forward control design logo with the URF designed on the side. And then as you notice, your Bolt catch area here is larger, so it'll work with certain battery assist devices, which, you know, such as like, uh, I think your Magpul bad lever uh, counts as one of those. I'm not one of those guys. I know some of you guys out there are. That's, I'm not judging. I'm just not one of those guys. So that is the forward control design billet upper receiver. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.